Most of the sheep in this country are raised in the Rocky Mountains, California, or Texas. But here in Michigan, there are a small but growing number of farmers who raise sheep. There's one here in Olivet, Michigan. Jack Norick and his wife Martha bought this farm around 14 years ago, and almost immediately they started raising sheep on their land. Norick says farming is something he and his wife had always wanted to do, and raising sheep fit their lifestyle. Their daytime jobs help pay for what he calls their farming habit. They have about 80 ewes on this farm, the sheep graze on the pasture, and spring is the time that the lambs are born. In 2007, the USDA estimated that there were around 2,400 sheep farms in Michigan, and most are around this size or smaller. Norick showed us around his farm during the height of spring lambing season. Well, I wanted to raise uh, cattle. Uh, Martha wanted to raise uh, sheep. We got both. Uh, got rid of the cattle because uh, they're a lot, for us, uh, harder to raise than sheep. I can handle sheep on my own. Uh, the day that I was trying to uh, uh, dip the navel of a calf in iodine and got clobbered by her cow, her mother, which was the day I decided that we are going to get rid of cattle. The role of shepherd from, from where I stand uh, is ensuring that you're uh, providing the, uh, the right environment for the ewes and their lambs. Uh, shelter, from uh, safety from predators, uh, and for uh, growth and development. Sheep farmers in Michigan say the land is well suited for the animals. Sometimes it's not all that great for traditional crops like corn and soybeans, but it does make for good pasture. And Nork says lambing in the spring makes a lot of sense. The sheep need a lot of nutrition, and that nutrition is at its peak out in the pasture during the spring months. Uh, kind of a selfish reason for lambing this time of year is I don't care to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning when it's 10 degrees to go out and check the labor. Uh, and for me, it's easier on the ewes, easier on the lambs, and easier on the shepherd to lamb this time of year. Nork and his wife have three kids who help them around the farm. He says farm life teaches them a lot about life and death. And some of the kids have become pretty good shepherds themselves. For us, it provides a well-rounded, balanced experience, life experience for them. My middle daughter, Sophie, uh, is better at keeping a chilled lamb alive than I am. Uh, there's been times when I gave a lamb up for dead, and she's revived it. Uh, the lambs will keep uh, for nine or ten months. Uh, they'll get up to about 90 pounds, uh, live weight. And then we ship them to a uh, sale barn, an auction barn in Manchester, Michigan. And most of those, uh, in fact all of them, will end up uh, in a uh, processing facility in the Detroit area, uh, and primarily for the ethnic market. In Michigan, Nork says the Muslim and Hispanic communities are good markets for the lamb. And prices for lamb are good right now, double what they were last year, according to the Michigan Sheep Breeders Association. So there are more farmers getting into lambing around the state. Chico is our guard lamb. Uh, he, uh, he thinks he's a sheep, just a big one. He uh, does not like dogs, which is our primary predator concern here, dogs and coyotes. And uh, he, um, he does a pretty good job. We haven't had a predator loss yet. And uh, he likes being around when a lamb is being born. If uh, the lamb is squawking, he comes running to find out what's wrong. If he sees something he's not used to seeing, he comes to investigate. This particular ewe was born on January 17th, several years ago. It was uh, 20 degrees, howling wind. I came out in the morning about 7 o'clock and they were up and nursing. The uh, amniotic fluid on their legs was frozen. I don't like becoming attached to them because that it's hard making management decisions. You do things contrary to, uh, frankly, running a business, which is what this is. Jack and Martha Norick wait for one of their ewes to give birth. It's a spring ritual they say they never tire of. I'm Mark Rush for Michigan Radio News in Olivet, Michigan.